Have you been looking for an audio visualizer for Linux that can interface with a variety of different audio inputs, whether it be from your MPD music player or from interfacing with ALSA or Pulse Audio or with your microphone? Well, I came across this neat command line audio visualizer a couple of days ago and I wanted to share it with you guys. So let's get started. So this tool that I came across a couple of days ago is called CLI Visualizer. Now CLI Visualizer can be found over on GitHub and it is a command line interface based audio visualizer. It's got a very large page here on GitHub, a lot of instructions. There's a lot you can do with this command line audio visualizer. They have some pretty neat little animated GIFs to show you a little bit about it. So this project supports MPD. It also has experimental support for ALSA and Pulse Audio. I've been using it interfacing with Pulse Audio on my machine. It works just fine. This project was heavily inspired by CAVA, which is uh, another audio visualizer that's popular on Linux. It was also inspired by NCMP CPP, which is a MPD music player that has a audio visualizer built into it, which is really neat. A lot of people probably would recommend most folks on Linux use that audio visualizer, the one that's built into NCMP CPP, but it interfaces with the music player daemon mpd what if i want to do audio visualizer like i'm doing right now on my microphone which you can see below me here you know you can't really do that <laughs> with the audio visualizers built into your music players like ncm cpp cp whatever the hell that name is <laughs> so it was inspired by those projects some of the prerequisites that you need in order to run this command line audio visualizer include FFTW and the incurses W libraries they're required to actually build this properly also in order to show the colors you need a terminal with 256 color support most of your terminals should have 256 color support so URXVT should work just fine Xterm works just fine works just fine in ST probably works just fine in termite although I haven't tried it in termite yet and there are instructions on where to get all the dependencies needed to build CLI Visualizer here on the GitHub page. So it gives you instructions for Ubuntu, Arch, Fedora, Solus, Gentoo, and the Mac OS X. Installing it is dead simple. I'll just pull it down from GitHub and run the install script. Those of you that are on Arch, what I did is I found CLI-Visualizer in the Arch user repository, the AUR, and I installed it using a AUR helper. I use yay. So I typed yay space dash capital S space CLI dash visualizer and it installed CLI visualizer without me needing to go and find the dependencies or do anything like that. The GitHub page gives you a little information about how to interface this with MPD or with ALSA or with Pulse Audio. Let me show you a little bit of what I'm doing with it to get it to interface with my microphone. I'm going to change scenes here and show you my terminal emulator sitting on my desktop. Now this is the CLI visualizer running on my desktop. I'm going to quit out of it, Q, to quit out of it. To run it, you need to open a terminal. In this case, I pulled up Xterm just to test out Xterm with this particular uh, command line program. And then type the word VIS, VIS for visualizer, of course. Now, I'm speaking, nothing's happening. I can clap. Uh, what's going on? Well, by default, it picks one of your various inputs on your computer, and it picks the wrong one in my case, by default. But if I open up Pavu Control plus Audio Volume Control, you can see it is trying to get the VIS stream, the audio stream, from the monitor of my Mackie mixer. Uh, instead, I'm going to choose the mixer itself. So PCM2903B audio codec analog stereo. If I pick that, look, now it's picking up my microphone. If I chose the monitor of Family 17H, that's my desktop audio, I could pick that and then it would pick up you know my desktop audio which would include things like a music player so let me pull up my favorite GUI music player which is of course dead beef 
Dead Beef is a fabulous, minimal GTK-based music player. I'm going to play one of my personal recordings. That way I don't get a strike on YouTube for playing, you know, copyrighted music. So if I have my uh, outputs and everything set up correctly here in Pulse Audio Volume Control, now instead of picking up my microphone, the visualizer here will pick up the music from Dead Beef. Well, so that is how that works. So you, you can play around with uh, command line interface visualizer, CLI visualizer here, and set this to audio visualize whatever audio source you want. Now getting back to the GitHub page, there is a, quite a bit of settings you can play with in the CLI visualizer. You can specify different color schemes. Actually, you can create your own color schemes, which is what I did. What you're seeing uh, on my screen right now is a color screen scheme I created with the purple and blue hue just to kind of go with the overall theme here in OBS. Uh, by default, it, it's got like a bluish green teal kind of uh, color scheme that's going. That's very nice. You can also change uh, as far as the width of the bars in the visualizer. You can actually change quite a bit. Uh, you can do some smoothing. They even give a full configuration example here on GitHub. So I, I didn't do this kind of configuration file, but it's a, this is a very large configuration file example. So you can just pull that thing down. Play with it to your heart's content, uh, comment lines out of it that you don't want to use. And when you're done with that config file, all you need to do is put that in your .config directory. So in your home directory, you have a .config directory. Well, if I go to my desktop, and you know what, I'll pull up my GUI file manager, pcmanfm. If I go into my home directory, and I find this hidden folder called .config, in this folder, you might have a folder called vis. You might not. If it's not there, create it. And in that folder, create a config file, just a plain text file, title it config. And once you have this config file, then you can add anything you like to it. This is what I added to mine to get what you're seeing on the screen here. So it's pretty simple, pretty easy config file. If you want something a little more substantial to play around with for a config file, again, just go get the full configuration example from CLI Visualizer's GitHub page. Before I go, this show was made possible by Ansem, Chris, the other Chris, Dylan, George, Mitchell, Natek, Philip, Rob, Robert, Sam, and Willie. They're the producers of the show, my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, I wouldn't be able to share with you things like the command line audio visualizer. I wouldn't be able to do it. Also brought to you by all those fine ladies and gentlemen. You guys see all those names on the screen that help support my work over on Patreon. Without each and every one of those ladies and gentlemen. Again, this show wouldn't be possible. If you'd like to support the channel, please do so. You'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.